Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy again and I'm here with Little Gizmo and I want to go over just a few things on the Up Air One. Uh, it's APM board. Uh, I just recently gutted mine. I'm going to go through it, change a few things. I want to try to get it to fly better. Like I said, try. It's just a project over the winter unless I get bored and finish it even sooner. But if you download Mission Planner this is what it looks like on the first page on the flight data page we don't have anything hooked up if you look over here in the corner you'll see a COM number which you really need to find out what COM you are the baud rate you can leave at you know 11 50 200 like I got you can change it lower for lower speeds depending on the speed of your computer um, what Mission Planet does it lets you mess with all the settings on your APM boards now APM boards are open source there's many kinds. 3DR has the most popular and the most expensive. But there's other China clones all over the place. So you got to watch it. You could buy one for 12 bucks. If you want to if you want to spend 12 bucks and fly your drone through the woods and and not be able to see it and hope to god that it makes it back, go right ahead. I don't I won't recommend any expensive ones or cheap ones or whatever, but the cheaper you go, you get what you pay for. The first one I'm going to show you here is the Up Air. This is your Arduino Mega Board that was custom made for the Up Air. Yes, custom made because it's got plugs. It's got special plugs all set up. Here's your compass, special compass for the Up Air. Uh, I have the, I mean, sorry, GPS. Sorry, sorry, I'm losing my brain cells. This is the cord to the compass. So when I plug it in, you're going to get a bad compass reading. But hopefully this focuses in on this. This is a stock version 3 Up Air 1 Arduino Mega 2560 board. But it's custom made for Up Air. There's the isolators, but that can be put on another board. I'm going to show you a real Mega 3DR APM board, Mega 2560. It's identical to this probably a little better because it has a memory card in it, an SD card that keeps memory and it has an onboard GPS with choice of external uh, GPS like the Up Air was designed. It was designed like a Phantom where you could have a GPS almost at the top. I'm going to show you the back. That's the back. This is the front and somebody's been doing the um, the wireless transmitter setups and you know it gives you some points you can actually solder to and and it does work you know the telemetry um, most of your APM boards are upgradable and I guess up air did it and see if you look right here it says up air core like I said APM board but I'll tell you what these holes were drilled out in the same place as the other board. Let me show you an Adreno Mega Board 2560. This is an original one by 3DI. You got an SD card here that can hold memory. You have the GPS puck. Alright. Just like the other one. I'm missing a wire. The wire broke off of the connector. But um, we're just going to do a few tests here, and if I have to fix the GPS puck, I can. This one has an internal GPS, but some of them, if you put a little glob of solder on two pins here, it's allowed to use the external. That's what's nice about APM boards. They can be upgraded, 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 upgraded. So what I mean is that this has a reset button. What I mean by Up Air has this made for themselves, if you notice the nice connectors that were made for Up Air and a standard Arino board, same thing. It just has pins, like Futaba pins sticking out that you can put any type of cables to it, your servos, everything. Because these are made for almost anything from a robot to an airplane to a multi-rotor to a helicopter. And if you see the holes that are drilled, they line up with the up airs holes so if you ever blow your APM board you can buy one of these they're fairly cheap because they're older it's the older version the 2.6s and 2.8s no one uses them anymore so they're a lot cheaper um, there's the website you can go to alright 
but what I'm going to do is show you why you should take the old board you don't have to take it out of your drone but with the USB mod you can save the params and you save them and you can copy them to this board alright so let's do that what I'm gonna do right now is the up air and here's the proper USB cord normally you do the USB mod it comes out and you can use an extension but you can use uh, this is like a Samsung Galaxy or uh, Android type plug for the USB now as soon as you plug it in you're gonna notice the GPS lights up let me take the foil off of there you'll notice the board lights up and the puck has a light on it well um, of course my other puck has a wire missing so it might not light up but we can still do what I want to do alright so the up air is plugged in right now the other thing you need for software besides the mission planner it's not really software it's built into Windows is your device manager go into your, st your start prompt type in device manager it'll pop up if you look right here it says Arduino Mega 2560 I'm on COM19 and watch when I disconnect it it's gonna reboot and disappear alright so now it came back and you don't see the Arduino anymore you have to plug it in and wait a while if you plug this in and wait a while it'll load the drivers but it might take like up to a minute or two before it actually recognizes it so don't keep playing with the USB cord but once it's recognized you plug it in the board lights up alright and on the screen we got COM19 now what are we gonna do with that information we are gonna minimize the device manager we're gonna come up over here on the right hand side and look for COM19 did I say it was 19 there is 19 and now you hit the connect button now I'm gonna hold the APM up you're gonna see connecting to Mavlink it starts connecting to the board you notice the boards going nuts so what it's doing is it's uploading all the information off the board it disappeared now everything is on mission planner to mess with um, you really don't want to change too much unless you know what you're doing but let's go to configuration it's going to show you everything that's on here we'll go to a full parameter list alright and you open it up and what you can do is over here on the right it says save to file alright you hit save to file I already saved it if you look it says Mike's Iris Param, Mike's Up Air 1 version 3 Param, I got the version 2 Param, but you save it as a Param file. You can name it anything you want. You can name it the suckiest Param in the world as long as it's dot Param at the end. I'm going to cancel out of that. All right. Now, anytime you disconnect this, you want to go to the disconnect button and disconnect it. All right wait a little bit and then you can pull the plug alright now let's go to one that you can buy off of eBay used or not make sure you get it um, if you notice I'm getting a little dry rod here the more I'm talking the more the GPS is falling apart so I'll have to resolder these wires um, and also you don't have to use the puck when you go external you just disconnect it alright disconnect the board because that one seems to be broken what's nice about the external GPS is look what's on the board there's a little battery alright little battery means calibrate the GPS it saves the information the up airs don't have that so I'm gonna take this one, here you go, the up air. I'm gonna remove the plug. All right, these are very, very small connectors, up air. You look for the GPS U heart. All right, make sure you look at the pins. The pins are very tiny. We're gonna plug it back in.
And guess what? It's calling me a liar. It won't fit. It has a totally different Arduino plug. So let's go back to the broken GPS. See, I don't edit nothing. If I goof, you're going to know I goof. But this GPS is junk because the wire is broke. So you would have to trace these wires if you want to use this puck, which I don't know, people have been having toilet bowl effects, so it's probably not a good one anyways. And get a better GPS and make sure it's wired properly. But since I've been talking to you, I broke two wires because this is an old one that I bought off of eBay for cheap money. All right, so anyways, has the same USB port. It's just hiding in a different spot. Let's plug this one in. Now this one might have little fancier different lights, but still the same idea. And what we're going to do is, device manager, we go here, Arduino Mega 2560, COM18. And I got to tell you something, you don't have to go with the Mega. You can go with a Pixhawk if you want. If you want to spend $135 for a flight controller, get the Pixhawk. That's the top of the line from 3DR. Just get the controller. And if you want, it comes with the GPS, your your monitoring device for the for the uh, voltage, and it's all gonna fit. You just gotta make it fit, just like anything else. Nothing's impossible. But anyways, this one is showing up as a, a uh, COM18. So let's go back over here where it says COM19 on the right. We gotta put it to 18. Everyone's gonna have their own COM number if you got a bunch of them, and hit connect. Same thing now. You're gonna get that MAV connection. The board's going nuts, showing a pretty yellow light and everything. It's got a lot more LEDs than the up air, because the up air is pretty basic. It's loading all the parameters, the compass settings, everything. Alright, so of course, I'm going to go back to the flight data here. Alright, so it's showing up. If you notice, it says bad gyro health. That's what's nice. It's hooked up, but I got a couple of broken wires, so it's bad gyro health. This has a built-in compass. You can get external compasses too and plug them in. All right, but now back to what we're really worried about. So you bought another Arduino because you're bored, you think it sucks, it's not doing what it should do. It's capable of doing so much more. So you go to configuration, all right, and you wanna go to full parameter list and you wanna go to load from file. All right, hit load from file. You look where you saved it. I'm going to go the up air 1 V3 parameter. Click on it. Hit open. It's going to say it's an X frame, which it is. Hit OK. And now it's going to load. Just give it a little bit. Don't disconnect it. Don't move it. I usually have it on the desktop because you don't want to lose your connection right away. All right. And anyways, there's all the stuff you can mess with loiter you can get sport mode you can change the battery voltage when it returns to home um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what shows up when it changes when things change they turn green alright so what I'm gonna do is hit load from file I'm gonna do this easy again I'm gonna put the original file back on here eBay mega use param file I'm gonna open it up I don't know what it's for, that's the way I bought it, and if you notice, the screen turned green everywhere, and you're like, am I all set? But these are the things that changed, your rate, yaw rate, and if you read over here on the right hand side, it, it explains everything you need to know, it's not that hard, there's a lot of information here, and you can learn it and play with it and do all kinds of things and keep it going. It's nicer to have a drone where the Arena board is actually accessible or do the USB mod where you can bring a laptop to the field and play with the settings and, and really make a, a nice copter. But I'm not done yet. I can't hit the disconnect button. All right, this is green. I need to make sure this changes. So you come over here, you got to hit write params. Like we saved it, now we're going to write it. If you notice, it's going to take a little bit. The uh, unit's going to go nuts and the green disappears. See how the green all disappears? It goes through each unit and puts it the way you want it. Because what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do it again. I just bought this board off of eBay. It's got a broken GPS. I want to throw it in my up air. I want to throw it in any kind of drone I want. 
okay? You go load from a file. We click on it. We scroll where you saved it. You could have saved it on your desktop or someone could have emailed you the param files. And this time I'm going to use Mike's Up Air version 3 param. Click it. It tells you it's an X frame because that's the way we saved it. Hit OK. All right. Now it says the RC10 trim value is out of range. Do you want to continue? And you say yes because it's altering. Just hit everyone that says yes. And see all the green files? Let me move the board. Put the board over here in that gizmo. All right. Now everything that's green has been changed from what the factory board had because this is set up for the up air now. All right, so you can go over it, check it, see if you need to tweak it. This thing's like throttle, voltage, when you want it to return home, the, how the switches act, all of that. That's all changeable on these APM boards. Um, and the thing that isn't initialized in the up air is the geofence. The geofence is something like NASA has to keep the drone from flying too far away from you and too far high so you lose it. The geofence will keep the drone within a certain area and you won't lose it. So you can play with that too, but that's what that's called. Here's all your flight mode switches. Like this one here says flight mode 1. There's a number 2. So you come over here and look at the the legend and two says all told all right if I was to put 13 in here it's sport mode now this up here would fly like a bat out of hell so you have to watch what you're doing read everything very easy I'm gonna hit write params now I'm gonna write the up air program to that board okay everything is gone now the greens go back to flight data and if I move the board, you can see the screen move because of the gyroscopes and the barometer and the compass. But now I'm saying bad gyro health because, like I said, when I started this video, it was together. Now it's breaking, but easy fix, solder everything back together, get a new connector. It's just a connector. They get dry rotted, and that's what happens sometimes to the up air. You get a bad wire, it cracks, and bada boom, bada bing. So anyways... We're all done with fooling around. Gizmo's getting a little tired. Got to get out of here. Uh, so hit disconnect. After you write the params, you can now disconnect. All right? And just pull the plug. Boom. All right? This now will go into an up air, and you have to watch them. Even the GPS has a little arrow on it. That's where they got that function for the tower app. This one here has XYZ access, okay, but there's also an arrow on the front board. I don't have my old man glasses on to show you. Uh, just like the up air board, if you look closely, there's an arrow somewhere that tells you that's the front of the drone. Very important. Keep it to the front. If you face it backwards, it's going to fly backwards. All right, so this is Cruise Roy, the up air board, APM. An Arduino 2560, a stock 2560 that you can buy on eBay when you need to repair it. And this is Cruise Roy, that's Gizmo, and we're out of here.